Hey everybody, Mr. Catlin here. We're going over study guide for unit two test. And we're looking at number five here. We got a table, and the table shows us the weight of books on a shelf. So two quantities are number of books that you got on the shelf, and the second quantity is how much it weighs. So in the table, it gives you a pair of corresponding ones that you really need to focus on because you can't fill out the rest of the table until you know their relationship and since it's proportional it tells you right here that means that every book weighs the same amount so if eight books weigh this then you should be able to find the weight of one book by simply uh, just taking the weight of eight of them and dividing it by eight so what I would do here is I would start with uh, 38.4, the value on the right, and dividing it by 8. And the quotient that you get from that, whenever you divide them out, you get 38.4, and we divide it by 8, we get 4.8. So what does that number represent? Well, that number represents your constant of proportionality. It's what you can multiply the left side by to get the right side. And it is also the weight of one book. So you could kind of add another column to this. If I've got one book, then I know it's going to weigh 4.8 pounds. And that's helpful because now you know what to do with 13 and 3 to get the weight of them. You can fill out the table super duper easily. So uh, the first thing you would do is you would do uh, 4.8 times 3. I'm not going to use the calculator for this one. I feel pretty confident in my multiplication abilities. 8 times 3, 4. Oh, that is an ugly mark. Sorry about that. Uh, 4, carry the 2. And then 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2, 14. And we got one decimal move there. Don't forget about that decimal move. This is going to be 14 point fur. And then we got to multiply 13 by the same thing. So we got to do 13 times 4.8. I'm just going to go ahead and multiply that the same way. 24, carry the 2. 8 plus 2 gives me 10. Placeholder, 12 from 4 times 3, carry the 1. 4 times 1 is 4, plus the 1 is 5. Add these bad boys together. 4, 2, 6. One decimal move. Okay, does the answer make sense? I always like to do a reality check. Yeah, I mean, if eight of them weigh that much, we almost doubled it, so not quite double the weight, but it's going to get larger. And less books weigh less. I feel good about my answers, and I have filled out the table. Although, my work is kind of sloppy. Mr. Callan, you need to make it look a little nicer. Well, I apologize that I'm not a neat handwriter with this tool that I'm using to write on the screen. It's not the easiest thing to do. I hope it's helpful. I hope you get number five right. Good luck studying. Good luck on the